Welcome to another cyclocross round, minus nine when we set off, but we're heading towards the sunshine of Yeah at the beach, and it's warming up for a nice cyclocross day in the south of France, no mud here. Tom is riding with Raphael in the morning, if you could ride us here. And this is the course preview by the beach, December in the south of France. Turn one, pretty tight after the long straight. And then into the park. Nothing difficult. And then down this little drop. And then up this little hill, which is easy for Tom, a bit difficult for some of the others. And then up this steep hill, which is difficult for everybody. And just a few moments ago, Raphael got bumped off his bike. So people are trying to get his feet unattached from the pedals on your left there. Anyway, off we go, through some more sand, over a little jump, around the boats. And the last straight is this kind of solid sand into the finish line, easy lap. And so Tom and Raphael have been close all year. Tom, the blue line, was slightly ahead all of the early season. Then Raphael with a win and a few seconds moved ahead of Tom. Raphael's the red line and now they're very close on the penultimate round. So away they go. And Tom, with his usual not so great start, there's the front group. And here's Tom, two age groups, Tom's in the lower age group, so a few riders are older than him don't count. And into turn one they go. And there was actually a crash in turn one, and the front group avoided it, those front five. And the orange helmet of 149, and there's Tom, were held up behind the crash. So they're chasing down this front group of five riders, with Raphael in that group. And P3, and Tom is P4 in his age group. And now they come down the drop. We'll have a good look at the course. And then up the small climb. And then down, and then up the steep climb. Tom just managing to ride it with a little dab, doesn't lose too much time. And round they all come. And now this is something we talked about at the end of lap one. There's a good chance to overtake if you're strong and Tom makes it up to P3. Pass 149. And there's Tom, and there's the front group of two, and then there's one rider, and the front group of five has split up, and I can't see Raphael anywhere, so I've gone running around looking for him. Okay, 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 continue, continue, continue. And Raphael's crashed, and they've had to take his shoe off to get his foot out the pedal. He's losing okay. a lot of time. And he's back in the race. Off he goes. Raphael is back in the race and he's lost a huge amount of time. So that takes Tom up to P2. 149 and P3. And Tom's looking pretty good. The leader is way out in front though. So around Tom goes. And still riding up the hill. A, a six lap race. So quite long in full summer kit here in December. And 149 still behind. Now some back markers heading up the hill. And Tom's going to have to run it. Which he does pretty well. 149 is having to run it. And those back markers didn't cause too much of a problem, although 149 has caught up there. And now the gap is getting closer. Need to see that. Hot. Hot. Up you get, Tom. 
and 149 is catching. And then the next hill, Tom doesn't ride up it. He's having to push. What's going on, Tom? Here comes 149 side by side. No, Tom holds on. This is now difficult. This is for P2 in the race. 149 looks like he might go for an overtake soon. Tom's looking. He knows he's there. And this is Tom catching up his teammate for lapping him. And the gap is quite large. This is the final lap. I think it's the final lap. So a nice large gap for Tom. And hopefully there's no problems, no back markers this time round up the hill. See the gap is large. And there is a back marker at the top of the hill. Tom rides up. And the back marker is just up around that corner there. And will Tom get held up? He has been held up by the back marker as they come into the final straight. Can Tom do a sprint? 149 can do a sprint. It's going to be, oh, is it going to be 149? He's got a good sprint. Tom sprints. Who is it? On the line. Whoa. And the photo shows Tom holds on for P2 in the penultimate round of the championship. And the winner, Kenton, was quite far ahead. We don't even Category see him. Benjamin A, the premier, on applaudit Quentin Philly. De la... Deuxième, Tom Alderson, ACBR. Troisième, on applaudit Sacha Aligné Vaché, Vélo Sport Sénois. Cinquième place pour Raphaël Marais du Vélo Sport Sénois. So P2 for Tom gives him some good solid points and there's just one more round to go on January the 16th and Tom is now P2 in the Cyclocross Championship of the South of France region. So that last round is going to be a big battle between Tom and his friend Raphael.